um, I just decided on a whim to uh, try messing around with the drone again. And I was able to get it to pair with this controller and watch this. Can you believe it? So I'm going to share with you. Let me bring it down. Ready to fly. Okay, so I am going to share a video of what I did to get this thing connected. I don't know if I just got lucky. I don't know what's going on, but please try this and leave a comment um, so that everybody else can learn from what's going on. I have after almost a year of trying to get this drone to connect with the controller, having all sorts of issues, um, getting really upset with GoPro, getting 650 people to sign a letter um, that we're going to send to GoPro, I just today, on a whim, decided to pull this thing out of storage the day before I leave on this trip where I've been wanting a drone, and I pulled it out of the box that I was about to ship it in, messed around with it for a bit, and here's how I got it to connect. I'm going to take you through step by step. I don't know if this is gonna work for everybody, but it's worked for me. Here's what I did. So, this is a long process. Here's step by step what I did. Now, I want to make it clear that now, my controller is paired with the drone. So what happens might be slightly different than what happened before. Um, because I don't have to pair them at the end because I was able to get them to pair, but this is the process that I went through. So here's what we do first. Take the, the GoPro out of the harness. So you have an empty harness, drone, controller. <clears throat> okay, now, um, the first thing that I did is I turned the controller on. I don't know if this matters because I don't end up using the controller until the end of this process, but here's what I did. First of all, turn this on into pairing mode. <clears throat> now, previously, the drone was not paired to the controller, so the controller popped up with a um, no, it said Karma Drone is not connected or it's not paired. I don't know if it's going to say that same thing now. We'll find out. <clears throat> so this is where I got the... It was this. So it's the same thing. Karma not found. Okay, so what we're going to do... <laughs> what we're going to do is wait until the drone shuts itself down. You're gonna leave it in pairing mode. It's just gonna sit there. It, I think it goes for about three minutes, um, maybe less. But after three minutes, it, it just turns itself off and just let it go through that whole thing. It's the weirdest process, but this is what worked for me. Let it sit here. <clears throat> what up, dude? The whole game's back. Except Mike. Oh, Mike. He's not part of the game. <laughs> Dude, 
I got my fucking drone to fly. Uh, really? I'm serious. So now I'm like making a video of what I did to get it to fly because this is like this is just unbelievable. This just wasn't flying. Yeah, it's this whole thing. Like it won't connect to the controller, and nobody knows why. And like some people are able to get it to work through like these weird like do this and then plug this thing in, but then let the battery die, but then after the battery's dead, disconnect this and then plug this into here twice, and then. So I just went through like some random ass things and then it fucking worked. And so now I'm like trying to retrace my steps and make a video about what I did step by step. Yeah. Okay, so after it tries to pair for enough time, then it stops working. So then what I do is I just turn it on. Don't enter pairing mode again, just turn it on normally by holding it for one second, let it turn on. And it's going to get an error here because the harness isn't connected. <clears throat> so it'll sit here for a second, light goes red and then yellow and, and then back to red. So now I have a flashing red light. Um, and this just changed, but don't worry about that because most likely your controller isn't even connected here in, in most situations. Mine wasn't previously, so don't disregard the controller right now. The drone is in red flashing mode. So take your harness without a camera in it. It's just an empty harness. And while this is flashing red, insert it and lock it in there. It's gonna sit here for a second and then it will activate. Voila, the harness is working and you can probably hear a, a hum that the drone's doing something. Um, I let this sit here until it shuts itself down. So it's trying to work with the harness, but there's no camera in it. It's flashing red, it's not connected to the controller, and after a minute of this or so, <clears throat> it will read an error and the harness is gonna turn back off. So just let this happen. And it died. So now I have a red light here. So I'm going to shut it off again by holding the button down. <clears throat> okay, now it's off. Now I'm gonna take the camera and insert it into the harness. Okay, so now it's all, it's all set up like it should fly. And what I'm gonna do now is just turn the drone back on by holding for just one or two seconds. So it turns on, harness activates right away just like it should with the camera in it, beautiful. Um, and so now that it's on and this is working, now we're gonna look at the, um, turn here. Now we're gonna mess with the controller. <clears throat> so I'm getting this thing that says, map download available. And I am scared as hell to, to download that, so I'm not going to, I'm gonna press later. Um, and if your drone isn't connected previously, then what's gonna pop up is it says it won't connect and, and um, at this point you can try to pair it again. And I, I had to, I don't remember if I shut it, if I shut the drone off again and then went back into pairing mode, but after I got this harness to activate with the camera in it, I was able to go to the next step to get it paired. So you can see now I'm paired. Um, 
and I'm in a restricted flight zone. So when I, when I try to fly, I get the restricted flight zone thing. I'm just going to accept that for a second. Ready to fly. And I'm ready to fly. And this thing will fly now. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is working. So obviously I'm not going to fly it right now. But that's step by step. That's how I got it working. So if you are watching this, do this. Do this step by step. And please, please comment. Leave a comment here. If this worked for you, if it didn't work for you, do this step by step. Um, I'll even write into the cat into the uh, um, description below the the step by step written out that I did for this. But I really, really need to know if this works for everybody else because if this solution um, is is solid for everyone, then that is absolutely huge. I suspect that it's probably not. I don't know if I just got lucky. I don't know what's going on. But please try this and leave a comment um, so that everybody else can learn from what's going on. And let's uh, let's keep moving forward with this. I'm I'm going to be taking this thing with me on the road now. It's actually working. But I've been getting all of these signatures to write a letter to GoPro about how this isn't working. At the very least, if this works for everyone, GoPro needs to know about it. So the letter that we're going to send to GoPro is still happening. We're still going to send the letter to GoPro. Although in the next couple of days, based on what you guys all comment on here, the, the, what we say in this letter might actually change a little bit, but I need to know if this works for more than just me or if this is just a fluke. So do this, comment, and uh, let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys.